Hey guys, are you angry? Got a minute? It is completely okay to be angry. Actually, to be angry shows that we have a strong emotional attachment to whatever situation is going on. Now, that doesn't mean that we can't be angry over petty things. Usually, that tells us that something else is going on underneath the surface. But most of the time, anger just shows a strong emotional commitment. And if we want to be invested emotionally, then occasionally anger is going to happen. Paul says this, be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, nor give place to the devil. So we cannot use our anger as an excuse to do whatever we want. We have to keep ourselves under control. That's why he says, be angry, but do not sin. Your anger doesn't give you a license to sin. However, he also says, don't let the sun go down on your wrath or your anger. And the reason he says this is a lot like why you don't drink still water. Water that's been sitting in one place for a long period of time, it becomes stagnant and it, things grow in it. In the same way, if our anger sits for a long period of time, it starts to breed bitterness. It starts to create hatred because these strong feelings and these strong emotions have to be directed somehow, some way. And so if they sit and they get stuck in one spot, then they create something that's hazardous. And the devil will use that hazard material that you've created by letting that anger just sit. That he's going to use that against you in order for you to have hatred against your brother or sister. So thank God for your anger because it shows how much you care. But don't let the devil get his foothold by keeping that anger inside of you. Talk to the person that you're angry with after you've calmed down a little bit, but release it somehow. Thanks for taking a minute.